everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious fried cabbage. This cabbage right here is definitely for the holiday. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my fried cabbage before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need would be some meat. Now, the meat that I've chosen to use today is I have some beautiful smoked bacon and then I also have some smoked sausage, okay? And you're gonna need some cabbage, of course. So since I have two small, since I have a small head, I decided to get two heads of cabbage. You will need a nice sweet Vidalia onion and then also you're gonna need some bell peppers. So you can see that I like to use the two different colors. And honestly, the two different colors is for decoration purposes, just to make this dish nice and beautiful. You're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So we have some paprika, we have some black pepper, some accent. Now the accent is optional. We're gonna be using garlic powder, salt, and a pinch or two of sugar. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make fried cabbage delicious. It's all about what you pair it up with, what you're gonna put in it, what spices you decide to use. And I wanna to talk to the people that don't eat pork for a second. If you don't eat pork, you can always use a turkey bacon. You could use a beef bacon. And you also could use smoked turkey parts. Um, anymore, lately, you can find smoked turkey um, tails, smoked turkey thighs, smoked turkey wings and legs. You can use that for this recipe. But if you decide to use smoked turkey, you're going to need to boil it down for at least an hour so it can get nice and tender. And then you can proceed this recipe the same way we're getting ready to do it right now, only using smoked turkey, okay? So now the holiday is around the corner. Everybody's looking for that perfect recipe to put on your dinner table. I'm going to show you how to do it. This is definitely something you need to have on your Thanksgiving dinner table. So the first thing that I like to do is I got about seven or eight pieces of bacon. I want to chop them, okay? Not too big, and yet not too small. Okay, I want you all to take a look in my pan that I'm gonna be using, and you'll see that I have a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in the pan, although the bacon will let off, you know, bacon grease. But I do want that little bit. It's just about a tablespoon of oil. So I have my pan on a medium heat, and we want to get this bacon nice and crispy. And right before it gets too, too golden brown, we are going to put in our smoked sausage, okay? The two of these, the bacon and that smoked sausage, it just goes together like peas and carrots in this cabbage and really gives this cabbage a lot of flavor. And another thing I want to tell you that you could do, if you ever, if you're someone that keeps the oil from the last time you fried some chicken, put about a tablespoon and a half of that chicken grease in your cabbage and listen here, talk about a good cabbage, you know? So, so if you have some chicken grease, go ahead and use some of that, okay? All right, so now I, you can see that I'm putting my bacon in and when I get it in, please excuse my Band-Aid that I have on my finger, but when I put my ba bacon in, I do wanna separate it into the pieces, you know, they have a tendency to kind of stick together. Like I said, what we're gonna do, once this gets halfway golden brown, we're then gonna start to incorporate our smoked sausage. So our bacon is beginning to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna take that one link of the smoked sausage, and you see that I've slid it down the side, and then I've slid it into four pieces. So now that I have four pieces, let's go ahead and chop it into somewhat cubes, okay? No matter how big, how small, just get it nice and chopped up. And like I said, what we're aiming for is once that bacon gets half the way golden brown, we are then going to add this beautiful smoked sausage. It's gonna let off amazing flavor into your cabbage. Now I wanna talk, to, I wanna talk about something. Those of you that are familiar with Gina Young, 
you know that when I make cabbage, um, normally how I make it is I cook my cabbage in a broth or I cook it in water and it kind of steams. You know, that's a delicious recipe. But this one here, it's completely different because the cabbage is really fried and it's gonna be fried in that bacon fat and the grease from um, this smoked sausage, okay? So it's totally different, but at some point, in this recipe, we will be putting a lid on top of our fried cabbage. There will be no liquid going into this recipe, okay? So, so like this recipe and the other recipe that y'all normally see me do, it's like day and night, but both flavors are absolutely amazing. But when we begin to think about the holidays, I think if you're gonna make cabbage, you need to make it this way. You need to make it this way. So now what I wanna do is I wanna look in at our bacon. Come on in, let's check out the bacon and see what we got. Oh yeah, we got some beautiful color going on here. We got a nice amount of oil. Now, just because we have a lot of oil here doesn't mean we're gonna use all of it. I will take some of the oil away. We're not gonna use all of that oil, that's quite a bit. So there's a couple of different ways that you can take some of the oil out the pan. Um, one of the ways that I like to do is I like to take a clean paper towel and you just dab any oil that you don't want and then you get rid of the paper towel. Or you can use a turkey baster and you can just suck up a little bit of that oil and just put it into like a canister and you can use that bacon grease for later. So now that my bacon is nice, beautiful and it's almost golden brown, let's go ahead and put our smoked sausage in just like so in this manner. Oh, and it smells beautiful in here. There's nothing like the smell of bacon cooking, right? Beautiful. Now, when I come back, we're gonna get started chopping up our beautiful veggies, just like so. So now, what I've done is I did take a clean paper towel and I have blotted some of the oil that I did not wanna use. But then you can also see that I left some oil in there. We got gorgeous color onto the bacon, beautiful color. Um, that we have onto our sausage. So now I have a small onion and I used half of the onion. We cut it down to medium pieces. Okay, we're gonna get that right in. And as soon as the onion begins to get translucent, which is clear in color, we are then going to add in the bell peppers. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this time to chop up some bell peppers and nothing special. Just get them chopped down just like so. And it's really up to your discretion how much or how least that you would like to use. You don't have to use a lot, but the, different, the difference in the color really makes it nice and beautiful and also gives a great flavor, okay? So now that I have this done, we'll wait on those onions to get translucent. The bell peppers will go in next. Onions are nice and translucent. Get the gorgeous bell peppers in, not only for color, but for great flavor. And I wanna show you how you should chop up your cabbage. Now, after you chop up your cabbage, is the perfect time for you to go in and uh, rewash it. You rinse it once, and then you'll wash it again after we cut it. So there's a core right there that we're not gonna use. So I'm gonna cut it this way. All right, I'm gonna cut it this way. I'm gonna cut this way. And then one more time. And what are we left with? We're left with the core that we don't wanna use. Toss it, okay? Just toss it. Okay, so now when it comes to cutting up the cabbage, you can cut it this way if you like, or you can cut it into cubes. However you want to do, would be just fine, okay? Typically, I'll cut mine this way, but like I said, if you wanna shred yours that way, it's fine, and I wanna show you a perfect example of why it's important to wash this after cutting. Look at that, a little bit of sand. So what you do is you put it in a clean bowl of cold water, and you just give it a nice rinse. Move it around, rinse it several times, and it'll come nice and clean. Okay, so when I come back, these cabbages will be nice and cut, and we'll be adding them to our pot. So I have all of the cabbage nice and cut. I've rinsed off the cabbage with cold water and then I've pat it dry with a paper towel. Very important that you pat it dry because we don't want any extra liquid. You don't need it. 
Okay, there's going to be a little bit of steam form when we cover this up, but we don't want any other extra liquid, okay? I decided to put two tablespoons of butter in here. This is a sweet cream butter. It's just going to add beautiful flavor, okay? And look, look, look at the depth of color, like, like that, right? I could eat that right there. <laughs> yes, I could over some rice. I could just eat it just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat up onto like a medium high, Okay, and I want you to stay nearby because this will quickly cook. We are going to put our cabbage right on top and don't worry about stirring it right now. Okay, because if you try to stir it right now, everything's going to fly out the pan. Now, cabbage will quickly wilt down just like collard greens do. And when it wilts down, then we can go in and talk about stirring it. Okay, so right now just let it be cook up for maybe a good 10 minutes. And when I come back, we'll stir it together. And we'll bring all of those lovely ingredients that's in the bottom of the pan. We'll bring them and mix them into the cabbage. Time to stir our cabbage around. So now we're bringing all that lovely flavor to the top. Get the cabbage pushed to the bottom. Bring that bacon. Look at the onions, the bell peppers and the sausage and all of that beautiful oil and that little bit of butter. Listen here. And so now what's happening is the cabbage. I don't know if you can hear it like I can, but the cabbage is frying in that oil. And boy, does my house smell good. So what I want to do right now is go ahead and add just a little bit of paprika. Okay, just a little bit to the top. Okay black pepper. Now two times during this cooking process I like to season. The accent it's definitely optional but here at the Young's house when I make fried cabbage like this you need just some accent. Okay we're going in with a nice amount of garlic powder don't skimp on the garlic. Okay and a little bit of salt. Your loved ones can put more salt in if they want to. Okay now remember I spoke of two little pinches of sugar. Is it going to make it sweet? Nope. I promise you, just going to give them that umami flavor factor. Make them say, mm, mommy, where should you get this recipe from? That's what it's going to make them say. So we're going to give it a nice stir around. And when I come back, I'm going to let you know how long this cook. And I'm going to show you the end results. This right here, fried cabbage, Jeannie Young style. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, homemade, home style. Fried cabbage for your holiday. Make you some. Now, let's talk about what I had to do. What I had to do was when the cabbage was done, after cooking for about 25 to 30 minutes, of just keep stirring it and stirring it. I did have to re-season. <coughs> Excuse me. And I used all of those seasonings. So we re-seasoned it and we taste it. We're happy with the flavor. I went ahead and put another tablespoon and a half of the butter in. And I said, that's it. That's the flavor that I'm looking for. So once I was happy with the flavor, I put aluminum foil, or you can use your lid, put it on top for about five to 10 minutes. And that's only if you want your cabbage to be a little bit softer, okay? If you're happy with the texture, you like how it is when you tasted it, then you don't need the foil. Keep in mind that the lid or the foil will make your cabbage a little bit softer. Listen here, everybody. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, Gina Young is over here helping you all get ready for your holiday. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer and then you get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and every day. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful dish right here. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And once again, Lord, we thank you for your love time and your mercy and understanding. Amen. Amen. And once again to my beautiful prayer, I want you to see my plate. I want you to see my plate just in case you did not get to get a good look. Can you all see that? This right here, fried cabbage. Make you some for your holiday. And I'm going to give you a bite. My mouth, totally salivating, totally salivating. Oh, you, you can see the flavor. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> come on in. That's flavor. I'm going in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And mm hmm Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, wait. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. The holidays around you all's house, it's going to be delicious if you make this. Mm. And as always, God bless. Thank you for watching. Good night.